Is it gone? Maybe. I don't think gone is the right word. But I mean, it's probably it's still where it was. Um, hmm. Well, as long as I do not have to be returned, and all should be well. Thank you for getting me away from there. Do you know the snake? Uh, uh, excuse me, say again? Do, do you know those snakes? I can't say I know them, but I have a sneaking suspicion that they may in fact be working for uh, above Lorna. The snakes are working for who? Uh, Bavlona. Doesn't really Bavlona Blightstraw? Uh, did you all really travel here without actually... I mean... You do realize you're in heaven, don't you? Uh, Where? I, we were just told we I were going to... I thought we were in Prismia. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. No, he said hither. What did he say, Viva? Viva uh, uh, is another portion of the Fey Realm. Of this Fey Realm, I should say. This is Presmia. This is all Presmia. There are multiple Fey Realms? Uh, yes. There are many. Me. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear what you said, Pema. I didn't actually hear what you said. Of course, dummy. <laughs> I never claim Pixie to be friendly. <laughs> Just that she's not malicious. And sorry, not. Zero, I'm not attacking you. you know? oh, no, 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 no problem. I'm <laughs> playing someone who's sniping at everyone. Well, I don't suppose any of you are particularly good with locks, are you? Uh, Pix is about the best, so if she can't help you, uh, don't good really any of us. I'm not that good with magic. Just... Uh, I mean, is the cage itself magical? Really? Or is it just a lock? Who are you asking, though? You the DM. Oh, sorry. Um, roll. What you? Either investigation or arcana. <laughs> Both minus one. It's iron. Definitely a cage. You're certain of that much. It's not made of wood. Hmm. Not made of magic wood either. She she's so happy about like. All the distracting the the snake with her crafting, she's gonna try to take a stick and, or yeah, kind of form a uh, a lock pick from plant material through druid craft and try that, like a, 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 a stick lock pick. <laughs> Roll. Roll slice of hand. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> you fumble around inside of it, and again, it feels like you should have it, and it should turn somehow with this twig, but it doesn't. I'm going to try to break the gauge with my glaive. You raise the glaive, and Sir Televa suddenly looks petrified. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Might want to scooch a little bit to the left or right there. Yeah, roll an attack roll. <laughs> you slam your glaive straight down onto the cage. Roll damage. Hmm, and it just seems to bounce off. You can't see any sign of a nick. You know, I'm probably going to regret asking. Uh, sorry, Pix. What was that? Bad guess, plenty. Or maybe B. I think this was plenty already. 
Uh, sub Talavar, was it? Talavar. Talavar, sorry. Oh, I can't use so many fancy names. Hi, right, listen, I'm probably going to regret asking this, but you happen to know where the key to your cage is? Um, is it, yes. It's in one of the snakes, isn't it? No, uh, no it's not in a snake. All right, that sounds slightly better. Is it with that lady? I believe Bavlon swallowed it. W wait, why? Why would you swallow it? Really? So, you have... We need to look in her. You can maybe? get us to throw it up, maybe. I I don't know. Is she also a She's... snake? No, she's more frog, really. Uh, shot in the dark. Um, well, we were going to try and hold up in that tower. I mean, obviously that's a bust. Um, do you know the area at all? I mean, you're kind of going to get a message to this, uh, to the Summer Queen, I assume you know where we could find shelter, maybe? Well, uh, Wigglewog was going to be my guide to get me back out of here. And that was going to be by Ur. I've been captive for some time. Mm -hmm. However, there is something that wanders here that is often a good place of shelter. Alright, well, I'm all ears. It is... at the inn at the end of the road. I mean, do you literally mean... At the end around of the road or, you, road, or is that the name of the establishment? It's the name of the establishment. It's actually Travels. Right, so does it wander a set path, or...? No, it's pretty aimless, but it's trapped in hither. So, guess, so... A moving in? Uh, yes. Uh, well, we're not going to find it. moving around aimlessly, how would we find it? It finds people when they often need it. It's a magic about it. You know what? Can we walk and talk and just see where this road leads? There was a path, even if it was overgrown. As long as that's kind of visible, um, Pixie would like to kind of follow it. Maybe not directly on it. Okie dokie. I'm not sure how, how thick the brush is, so, or how safe the ground, so she, she, she would want something where everyone can move. And by the way, at the moment she is walking, actually. While she did manage to fly our new friend out, uh, she's a little sore in the wing muscles. The ground is squelchy underfoot, but somewhat dry for the most part. You follow roughly the pathway. You find yourself going towards a larger stream, which turns into more of a river. At where the path ends, there is an abandoned raft. It's about eight square foot, with a pole just lying on top of it, just out of the water. Anybody good with... Staying on the water? Not staying underwater? Well, above the water, preferably. Uh, not above, but I can stay under. I meant on the raft. Really is a pity we don't have that water boy here yeah yeah Addy would have probably something yeah yeah he probably would have been um all right here but um well, i mean maybe mr witch uh sent him towards us come to think of it, i don't think i actually ever described him oh well i mean yeah, no, i very much doubt he'd find us now hmm? mr witch only sent us to that thingy up there the 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 bridge 
Well, that's true, but uh, if you remember how we met in Pix, he kind of turned up in an unexpected place, so... Well, given how strange this place is, I wouldn't put it past him that we might bump into him again at some point. But, we have to be focused on the air now. Um, Pixie is having a closer look at the water if she sees any, like, reflection thingy again. Okay. See your own reflection. Hmm? See your own reflection. Okay, so nothing like the image. Nothing magical. Well, in the reflection. <laughs> As a fairy. So what are you guys doing? How deep would the river run? Looking at the water, you would say initially it's only about knee deep, but it starts to go quite a bit deeper. So. Well, we're not going to be able to reliably find the sin, so. Uh, so he, um, do you have any idea in which direction you need to go? Like north, south, east, west, upstream, well, downstream, to the hills? If it's to get the key. Uh, that would be to the north. I was thinking to get to your queen, but uh, I would. Well, think... um, you would need to be able to fly out of the boundaries, this realm. So only Pixie can reach her. Possibly, but most flying folk still can't make it without a guide. Wiggle Walk was my guide. Uh, well, there must be some other way out of here. Getting out is not particularly easy. That I can assure you. When the boundaries were dropped, a lot of people became trapped here. And I would assume the same could be said for the others. They are trapped here because what made well, the boundary to be dropped? When the hags took over, of course. I mean, do you not know this? Now you're new, aren't you? I mean, I've we literally been here for right, um, nine hours. We literally kind of just popped into this world yesterday, so you did mention yes. Um, and there is something else. Uh, yes. None of them have any fake connection. I'm told I might have lived in Fae, but they're not sure. Well, and fairies were once quite really common. Know. Well, yes, but there is no rule saying that fairy cannot have fairy baby outside Fae. True, but uh, I wouldn't really know. Well, hmm. So I don't know. And even if I was, I was too young, I, I don't remember. I don't know. All, all my memories are in in human realm, in, in, in the other realm, not fake. Mortal realm. That's it. Mortal realm. Uh, it is strange that you don't have any memories of being here. Do you remember when you were young at all? young I mean really young before you could fly no but I was still young hmm I was still a child I remember from being a child but not young young I can always fly You may have been sent over then before uh, the hags took control of Presmia. The uh, free hags uh, took control and split it between them. They sealed off uh, the palace. 
the palace was where the witch queen resided. So, the witch queen and your summer queen? But the oh, summer queen it? is of a different fey realm. Not this one. Oh. I was sent over to investigate. Uh, due of, well, the correspondence had not happened for quite some time. So I was sent with several others as an inquiry. I was captured. The rest with me were killed. I was being saved. I was her pet. Are you sure you were killed? Because Next. you say Sir Patrick is dead, but Sir Patrick lives. I saw him just yesterday. My compatriots were definitely killed. I saw that much myself. Pity. But then not everything that gets killed stays dead. It's truer than you would know here. Death can be strange here. Everything is strange here. Hmm. All this green and no flowers. And Pixie starts parting and forgets that we were having a serious conversation. Uh, I have a question for you, if you don't mind. Uh, yes, go ahead. How long did these, uh, how long ago was it that these Zags took over? Um, it's hard to say. Time can be strange here. I'm not mm. too sure how it would lean over into mortal time. Yeah. Also about that, uh, kind of concerning the other manner of strangeness of seeing it, does that count between each of these realms, or well, is one day, one day, every day here, or does it change? Honestly, I could not tell you. I haven't visited the other realms. Well, how about in this one, or you're not too familiar with this either? Well, I've been stuck here for quite some time. Decades, in fact, I believe. Exactly yeah. how long, I am unsure. Oh. Before the split, everything ran as one. I believe it would still run the same, but... Before the split, this was not a swamp. Also, um, actually... When we... Yeah. Uh... Is oh, sorry, convicts. You say this was not swamp, and now there's lots of frogs. Frogs like swamp. Were they not here before? They were here before, yes. This one's quite as plentiful. Oh. Was Downfall a frog kingdom? Uh, yes, Downfall has always been the frog's home. Because Sir Patrick mentioned it being... He mentioned it being... Like a swamp. He said it was a nice swamp. Well... I don't know if he means the same nice as what I call nice. But he said nice for a frog. It was suitable for them at the very least. However, like this, it was not. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, uh, something else just popped into my head. Um, uh, when we came down from the bridge this morning, a bunch of rabbit people approached us. Something about a uh, fort tax. Um, have you ever heard of that? I've heard of dealings with the Haragon. I mean, uh, Bavlora freed their leader after the Witch Queen had prisoned him. Yeah, they were kind of chanting something about him. Yes, I have heard the chants myself. 
So would it be reasonable to assume that they're collecting a tax on the hag's behalf? What is the tax? Uh, uh, yeah. Like, memory. I said it was like a thought tax. So yeah, so I didn't specify. Yeah, that. I mean, honestly, I don't even remember what it was. Um, they kind of just, um, I don't know, used uh, uh, some on me. Kind of felt a bit lightheaded, and uh, that was about it. I'd imagine they must be. Can't see what they would really be doing with happy memories. Well, I mean, it's the fair, and I mean, we have no idea how your customs work, so. <laughs> oh, that is true. So, are they tax collectors? Collectors. Or are they not? I would imagine they are if they are working on behalf of Bablora. And we've done a good day. I think. Um, what time of day is it now? Well, that, what time of day does it appear to be? Still morning, you'd say. Maybe an hour has passed. Alright, well, don't look like it's going dark, yeah? I mean, given... There's no path to walk. And maybe the inn only comes at night, but... DM, which direction do the rivers flow? North or south? It's flowing north. You guys want to get on the river? I think we can move faster. Boats can oh. go really fast. Not sure about the raft. If it can support our weights, then sure. Does it look like it can? Or does our friend have something else to say to that? Do, do, do. It should probably hold your weight. I'd imagine it should be able to hold up to about 1,200 pounds. Looking at it. Actually, come to think of it, how fast can you move, big man? Regular pace. Mean are you able to run? Or... Yes. I can walk, I can run, I can jump. Do you ever get tired? No. Well, I mean, if he could keep pace with the raft, then we wouldn't have to worry about him weighing it down. I think the raft is faster than walking. A lot faster. Oh, I mean, I was only thinking... Kind of uh, solving a problem before it becomes one. But uh, if you can support his way, then yeah, obviously it'll be a bit faster. If needed, I can also act as an anchor. Alright, right, that's true. Or I might be able to act as an anchor. I haven't really tried it before. Oi, well... I suppose, really, best way to answer this question is, Big Man, why don't you get on the raft first and see if it starts to sink? I go on to the raft. Uh, how much do you weigh? Let's look at the specifics. Uh, 280. Okay. Bam. You settle on top of it, and it seems fine. I see everybody doing a quick Google search. Um, yeah, I'm actually just looking up my document just to remember how much I weigh exactly. I didn't find hints of how much Paris weigh. So, Miko, DM. Oh, no, it's fine. It's about how much does everyone weigh, all in all? I'd say Victor's about 50 pounds. 40 is the average, but he's a bit on the chubby side. Plus your stuff. Uh, yeah, actually, I didn't take that into account. Let me just double check that. Uh, 
There's actually no aid given for um, fairy type. Um, you are small, so it would be lighter. So it just must be a carry weight. So it'll be plus 15, 9 for my carry weight. So I think that'll be. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fine then, carry weight wise. Unless Miko weighs a shit ton. Uh, about 200 pounds with all equipment and weight and everything. Oh, with fine. equipment. That is 340. Fair enough. It supports everyone as everyone gets onto it. Including the cage. Including the cage. Okay. No, wait, I did my math wrong. It's, so long as it's not going to be like double, you'll be fine. <laughs> At seven hundred pounds, uh, seventy pounds. Yep, so we'll be fine then. So you make your way out onto the river, and I'm assuming you start following the flow of the water. Yeah. Will the current yeah. not just drag us along naturally? Correct. Right. So you follow the water. The current drags you along, initially going north towards the splits, and then starts pulling you towards the east. Wait, um, before we, the split, the one that's like, is it like the other side and our side are coming together, or is the river splitting into two parts from where it was? They're coming together, so both push in this direction. Okay, thank you. Thank you. As you follow it, the stream quickly starts to peter out as you get to this bend, and the flow seems to stop. Guess we Does... go on foot from here. Does it look like the current picks up further down? Uh, you look into the fog, but you it seems like the water is still. Okay, if it doesn't appear that it's going to pick up, then Victor will get off the raft. Okie dokie. Is there anything there that looks like a landing place? Or... Uh, no, just mud banks. You know, I don't think the person who left the raft there wanted to go with the stream. Maybe they came with the stream to the tower. Well, let's see, maybe there's something here. And wouldn't we have then found someone at the tower? Well, I mean, we saw that. I mean, well, that was by Balloon. Balloon. Well, I mean, the snakes could have gone them first, for all we know. Well, they left another way. Maybe the raft was just across the river or something, I don't know. Maybe it's a communal raft. I mean, I mean, to be um, fair, we don't know how long that raft's been there. It could have been there for weeks, for all we know. DM, along the river, did we see any points that looked like clear anchorage points? Something like... Um, no. Something of the English word, but... Um, a duck? Not a pier, yeah, like wooden duck. Uh, no, you did not. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just need to double check one thing. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Pop up. So, what do you guys do as you've made pop. land? Wait, wait. You, you, you said the. The swamp is new. Are the rivers new too? Pixie um, will not remember his name and use different start names starting with P as a warning. Anything that starts with a P A, <laughs> Pixie is talking to the dragon. Um, yes, they are somewhat new. Uh, the wells tend to overflow and cause a lot of flooding. 
since that occurred, a lot of, well, new streams, new rivers appear. The flows randomly change. When we come across something old, can you tell us that it's something that's from before? I mean, downfall is, I think this tower might have been. It looked old. Certainly. It, yes, the tower was from before. But I imagine much of it has since been destroyed by the flooding. The tower wasn't in too good a shape. Do you know what it was used for? Or that I could not tell you. So what are you guys doing? As you made land. Um, I think Victor would probably just be looking around to see if there's any distinct landmarks that we could start moving towards. Let's say as you're looking around, you can see a faint shadow against the outline of the mist. To the east. And that's about it. Uh... All right, um, can't really make anything out, uh, just, um, kind of can see something east way. Uh, do you want to add that way, everyone? Unless anyone else, um, has a better idea. Sure, makes more sense than going west. Okay, uh, Victor will just generally move in that direction then. As you continue to move through um, the swamp, DM, go on. Would being on the raft count as a little bit of a rest? Yeah, yeah I'll give you a so short rest. So I was saying Pixie was a bit exhausted in her wings, so would that have given her? Yeah, I'd say, rest? yeah, that's fine. I mean, that was a handicap. They're relaxed. Girl, but yeah, she's a bit relaxed. Not asking after the mechanic, just. Yeah, yeah. As you make your way through the swamp, you start, start to become a bit thinner, and you eat, oh well reach a large open area that raises above you. You're greeted by a scent of sweet-smelling fruits. Damp, downy, silver-green moss blankets a gentle upward slope, before giving way to craggy ridge that marks the top of the hill. Dozens of enormous willow trees dot the hillside, swaying as though in a breeze despite the absence of one. We'll end the session there. Okay. I think that was actually our longest session to date. Well, for which lights, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah, she's not even half yet. <laughs> <laughs> different campaign, different players. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, if we ever have a session on the scale of Nerov's sign, yeah, I don't think most of us would be awake. No. <laughs> I mean, we were pretty much asleep at the end of that one. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, I think we'll probably be looking for next uh, couple of weeks for next session. Or... In two weeks' time, Saturday 6. Everyone good? Uh, I would be. Probably post that in the Discord yeah. as well, just in the event that Zach can make that. Oh, yeah. I will do. Okay. Well, in that case, um, thank you, anyone who is still here. And um, we'll speak to you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Hello.